Nice. What is up all you beautiful people? It is I, Akami TCG, back here with a brand new video. Duelist. I'm, I'm seeing a big problem. Huge, huge problem, okay? A lot of you make a lot of mistakes. I'm not perfect, I make mistakes too, but I've seen so many duels where one critical mistake would cost a duelist to have literally the winning edge the whole game. Or one person just throws a game like crazy. So today, I've compiled a list of five mistakes a lot of duelists make when playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And I guarantee you, 100%. It's not just about the cards you play, it's how you play them. I know it's cliche, and also if you follow all five of these steps, you will become a better duelist. Hope you all enjoy. Number one, not fully reading cards. I know reading a card like this could be like but you have to read cards to completion because if you miss a small inch of text, small bit of text, that could cost you the entire game. And also if you read a card fully once and you got it memorized the first time, you tend to never have to read it fully again. As an example, I was playing my Rika deck and I was playing Aroma Seraphi Jasmine, the Link Monster, and it says if my life points are higher than my opponent's, then this card and any plant monster it points to cannot be destroyed by battle. He didn't see that, so he just attacked into my card, I lost some life points, big whoop, and my monster stayed alive. And that cost him the game. Number two, shotgunning your hand traps way too early. In this meta, everybody and their mom is using every hand trap available, even DD Crow. I mean, I've even seen some cases running Gold Spell and Skull Meister, but with these hand traps and trap cards and even monster quick effects, don't just use them the moment you get an opportunity to use them. Think about why you're using each one before you use it, okay? Before you use that Boiler Load Savage effect, before you use that Ash Blossom, is there a relevant threat that is up against your board? If no, you should probably save it until you actually need it until there's actually a threat to maybe you losing the duel, maybe you losing a boss monster. Don't just use it immediately. There's no single golden rule for when you should use these hand traps, quick effects, or effects. You just have to learn the matchups. I know I'm gonna say that a lot, but also it just comes with experience. Over time, as you keep using hand traps, and traps, and quick effects, and stuff on your opponent's turn, you get better at when to use these specific cards. Let's go outside, it's getting really hot. Now we are outside, it is very, very hot outside, but one of the biggest mistakes a lot of people make is not knowing the rulings in Yu-Gi-Oh! They just simply do not read the rule book. It's there for a reason. In every single starter instruction deck, there is a rule book. Sit down, take 10 to 15 minutes, read it, Memorize it, not memorize it word for word, but basically grasp the main concept and you're gonna get a lot of ideas. So one big example is one time I summoned a Saryuja off of Black Dragon Collop Serpent and then tried to activate Black Dragon Collop Serpent during the resolution after I knew Saryuja's effect. That was one of the mistakes I made and I realized you missed the timing on that. If you didn't get what I just said, Read the rule book. Number four, not manipulating the phases. Believe it or not, you can manipulate the phases to your advantage in Yu-Gi-Oh. One of the most popular cards used nowadays is IP Masquerina. And for all of you that doesn't know or don't know what this card does, is during your opponent's main phase, you can link summon using this card and another card or cards that you control. You can force your opponent to use this effect, and here's how. Summon a monster that's bigger than IP Mascarena, which isn't that hard. Say you're going into battle phase. Your opponent has either one of two options. They can either let the battle phase go when you attack over the IP Mascarena for free, so the effect doesn't resolve, or 
your opponent can choose to activate IP Masquerina's effect. In doing so, your opponent has opted not to go to the battle phase. They have disagreed to go to the battle phase. So now, after they use IP Masquerina's effect, it goes right back to the main phase and you can do whatever you want. This will definitely help you be more confident as a player in those matchups and also break IP Masquerina boards with ease. Let's go back inside. Yo, I feel like I'm staying into y'all souls. I'm like in space. It's sick. Anyways, last but not least, probably the most important one of them all. If you didn't watch the previous uh, three, four minutes for whatever reason, this is the only tip you're going to need, okay? Because it's going to embody every single thing that I just talked about. Number five, you have to adapt to your matchup. I cannot express this enough. This is extremely important. You do not display a deck the same way against every single duel unless you're playing like maybe like like Spiral or Tier Zero deck. But we don't talk about those, okay? You have to play your deck differently according to what matchups you're facing. If you're playing against Eldritch, you probably don't want to shotgun everything at once because they probably have a counter to your combo deck. If you're playing against, let's say, combo, you have to think about the amount of recursion your opponent's deck has. Maybe you go all out because you know they have nothing left besides the card or the next card that they're going to draw. That means RKRP. Reading your opponent's cards, knowing what to do, knowing when to activate certain effects, knowing the rulings, and then knowing how to manipulate the phases. RKRP, alright? Do not forget that. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed. These are five major tips that are going to help you become a better duelist. Even if you don't have all the bread cards, I understand this game gets really expensive. But if you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification for when I upload more high quality, spicy Yu-Gi-Oh content. Bye guys. The world ends now.